Hi everybody, Trenton Bennett here, and today I'm going to talk to you about ferrite cores. A friend of mine asked me for some advice on how to use these things and what they are, and so since she's really cool, I figured I'd put this together and share it with her, and this is also for you. So what is a ferrite core? It's kind of a sheath that wraps around an electrical wire in order to prevent the signal from getting any interference going down the line. In other words, it's a little bit of a shield that prevents electrostatic noise or hiss or hum or other kinds of interference that might show up in your equipment. And if that sounds a little techy, just realize that you already have ferrite cores in your home right now. That's right, they're all around you. If you have a cable of any kind that has this little thing on it that kind of looks like a snake swallowed a whole bunch of tricycle tires, you've got a ferrite core. That's what this thing is. It's wrapped around the cable to help shield it from any outside signal noise or any noise coming down the line that might create a problem. Now this is an Xbox cable, but the reason I'm doing this is because someone I know had a microphone cable and they had a problem with some noise coming through the microphone that they thought may be actually on the cable. So what do you do if you don't have them already on the cable? You can actually buy some. You can go to any store, an electronic store, or Amazon or whatever, and you can buy a ferrite core. You might even see that some of these on the equipment in your house are removable, but all it really is is it's a ring that contains these bits of iron in it, thus the name ferrite, and these bits just go around the cable and they help create a blockage to the signal. So I'm going to show you how to do that because there's a couple of ways that you can use the ferrite core. Let's say, for example, I might wrap it around this cable and when I click it shut, it's going to shield it, but it's not really going to stay in place. So if I want to make my job easier, and some people will tell you this will also improve the quality of how it works, I'm not just going to hold this open and lay this in the channel like that, but I'm probably also going to run it back through one more time because that'll do two things. Like I say, it may mean that the cable passes through the core a couple of times and helps improve the signal to noise problem. I just click it shut like that. But the other nice added plus is that now I can just tighten that and it's not going to go anywhere. So now I have it. So that's how ferrite cores work and I hope that was helpful to you. Now you might not need to use a ferrite core, but sometimes you do. Typically if you're getting kind of a hiss or a hum out of your line and you're trying to troubleshoot a problem like is it a bad ground or am I actually just getting some outside noise? What the heck does that mean? Well, if you've ever seen the episode of Gilligan's Island where Gilligan is suddenly picking up the radio through the fillings in his teeth, you just have to think about the fact that maybe if Gilligan was able to get fitted with some sort of iron-clad version of Invisalign braces, he probably wouldn't have that problem anymore. You probably won't need to do these unless you're troubleshooting a very specific problem like line noise or some sort of a hum. And uh, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Thanks very much. Have a good day.